Hello everyone, welcome to Tech World with MJ. This is Murari. Today I will explain how you can write your console application using VS Code Editor. So for that I have used the latest version of .NET called .NET 7 and CSAP 11. So the reason behind to choose the uh, Visual Studio Code is uh, with the help of Visual Studio Code, we uh, not only we can write the .NET uh, application, uh, we can uh, write the code for React, Angular, Python and I mean different uh, for different languages we can use the VS Code Editor which is very lightweighted and uh, easy to install and easy to understand okay so now we'll go on another slide so currently I'm talking regarding the console applications so for that what prerequisite is required I will explain only so we must have the Visual Studio Code Editor here and uh, that link I will post in in the description so you can go and check out that Visual Studio Code Editor uh, okay another one is uh, I, currently I'm using the .NET 7 that's why I need that .NET 7 which is the latest uh, framework in the market to be installed in our system so for that also I will add uh, this link in the description so you can go and check out once you will uh, install these two things uh, then uh, first of all I recommend you to install I mean restart your system to reset everything and then uh, then you will go and open your visuals, visual studio code editor and uh, you need to uh, you need to install the csop extension with with your vs code editor I will show you how you can do it okay so now another thing is once you will uh, do these above configuration I mean previous configuration then you need to remember uh, two three commands which is very easy to create your project so for the creation of the uh, console application you just need to write i mean execute this command in the vs code terminal another one is dotnet build next is dotnet run clear so as the name says everything is looks like very clear and easy to understand and remember now we are happy to see the output so for output we will go on my screen so I will start a Visual Studio Code Editor. Here I already have installed, so I will not do the installation related activity. This is very easy step. And uh, here I have the two links that I will add in the description. The first one is uh, how you can uh, download and inst install the uh, Visual Studio Code Editor. Here you have the option for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. And uh, same for the .NET 7 as well. So uh, currently I'm using .NET 7 so I have added this I mean I will add this particular link in the description you can go and check out this or uh, whatever uh, I mean uh, you're you're looking up uh, for which uh, Windows systems and uh, what operating system it is okay so let's come on our screen our v VS Code editor is already opened so we'll go and do the I mean third point that I have already described you to add the C sharp extension so in my case our C sharp extension is already installed that's why when I will click on this here I will have the I mean option called uninstall because I already have installed that's why it is showing the uninstall so in your case if you are using the first time the C sharp extension then in your case it will be the install you will just click on install and it will take I mean uh, 10 to 15 seconds to install in your systems once the installation I mean extension ins installation will be done then you are set everything to do your code for uh, writing the console application so now we will go uh, we will go here and i mean open a folder so i i already have, I, I mean i need to create a folder so i will go anywhere in the location here i will just add a folder called vs demo vs code demo okay now I will go and select this particular project will open it so once I will open so here you will have in the left corner you will have the VS code edit I mean folders that I have created okay so the next step will be you will open your terminal okay so this is the terminal where you will execute whatever command I shown you in the slide so there we will have the three commands so first command is just for creating the project okay so here I copied it and will paste here so now it is clearly written dotnet new console framework dotnet 7 currently I am using so 
I will just go and enter here. So our project is in progress to create. So here you will see our project is created. So currently I have executed this command and this project is to be created. Okay. So if you will go in the folder and will open this, then you will have this thing. I mean, uh, that project that I have created from the Visual Studio code. Now the next command as per our slide is once I have created the console project, so we'll go and run these commands in the terminal window. Okay. So here I have just uh, write dot net build. So it will build your project. So here you will see once build will be succeeded, then you will have a uh, another folder called bean folder. Okay. So I have executed it. So it is in progress right now you will consider okay so here we will have a bin folder uh, that means our program is built it successfully so here is a message called build success there is no warning no error because i mean this is just a template uh, we don't have to do anything inside right now so the last command will be dot net run so once our project is uh, build build successfully we'll go and write the command dot net run it's very easy command so here you will see the output i mean the output will be hello world because this is currently hello world which is by default so here you can see the hello world is printed that means we 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 got whatever expected output is required so here for your understanding here i will just go and change something like uh, I will write this is my first demo console application this is my first demo application okay so I will just go and control s I mean saved it once I have saved so I mean we can I will show you the uses of clear as well so the fourth command is clear command okay so I mean the clear means whatever uh, previous history we have executed will be cleared so we will write here clear clear okay, no no it's like uh, we have uh, written some wrong command so I think C L E A R C L E A R now our command I mean terminal window is clear again so because I have done some changes uh, in our program file that's why we will go and build again as usual so here I will write again either I mean if you are in the terminal window you will have the up and down arrow by which you can uh, you uh, I mean uh, you can uh, fetch whatever previous command you have executed otherwise you can write uh, I mean you need to write in your terminal window as well so currently I have written dotnet build so I will click on build again so it will build our new changes I mean talking about these changes so build is succeeded now I will go and use the run command here again so here you can see the result so result should be hello world which is by default and uh, I mean one line I have added just for understanding so this is my first time application so I mean that it's about how you can execute the uh, your code or how you can start your writing uh, I mean console application or uh, I mean web application as well you can uh, because this is a very basic uh, session related to how you can start that's why I have not uh, made it complex so that's all so once you will go in your folder again so you will have the bin folder I mean the whatever build is available inside bin and everything is looks uh, as it is as you can do the same thing with the visual studio okay so now uh, in the next session i will show you with the help of chat gpt extension how you can uh, write your code in the visual studio a visual studio code i mean vs editor okay vs code editor so i mean if you feel this video looks helpful to you, then please be stay with us for the future updates on uh, the further, uh, I mean, session. And uh, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the 
bell icon for the future updates and please like your like will be help to spread uh, this type of content over uh, i mean broad community as per google algorithm so thank you thanks for watching